How do you move from the research topic or question that you've selected to search results that are going to bring you relevant and useful sources for your assignment? Let's start here. At this point, you may only have a broad research topic selected. There's some important foundational work we can and should do in order to develop a list of important keywords. And therefore, the search statements that will be put into the library catalog and databases in order to get those relevant and useful sources. What do I mean by a keyword? A keyword is a special term that is going to unlock relevant results on a topic. For example, if I'm interested in writers whose work focus on race and gender, I'm going to want to zero in on the keywords in how I've just phrased that topic. Writers who work focuses on race and gender. Writers could be a keyword, as could be poets or authors. Race could be a useful keyword, as could be racism and civil rights. Gender is also a useful keyword, as are related terms like gender bias and feminism. When we search in databases, we want to compile lists of these essential keywords for our research topics. And sometimes doing some background searching to get additional context on our topic helps us understand our topics even more deeply. Let's imagine I've decided to focus on the poet Lucille Clifton for my research assignment, whose work incorporates themes of race and gender. If you want a short video of Lucille Clifton performing a short, impactful poem, you can visit this link. I'm now going to look up Lucille Clifton in the following sources to get some additional background information. This is a step we often take in our own lives when we encounter a new concept. We tend to gather context information by doing a quick Google or Wikipedia search. I'm doing this in an academic context by using these academic sources. Here is a credo search for Lucille Clifton. I'm going to read this brief entry on Lucille Clifton to get some additional understanding of her work, which will be useful as I further shape and refine my research topic's focus. But I'm also going to be hyper aware of any keywords that are really useful here. For example, I noticed that her work is associated with the black arts movement. What's great about Credo is that even if I'm unfamiliar with the black arts movement, I can read out on that very quickly and understand that is how Clifton is, Clifton's association with it centers her work within a literary tradition of creative black individuals working in a specific time period. This process may look similar or different for you, but these are useful tools you can use. Another tool that I, would, I often suggest is creating a concept map or a mind map that allows you to synthesize useful background information so you can incorporate it into your research topic. Thank you for your time. I hope this tutorial has helped. And please don't forget to reach out if you need help. We are here for you. All the best and happy searching.